Hey guys, today's video is going to be so much fun. I have so many new products to play with. So everything I purchased in my haul, I pretty much used today. And I have to say, I love how this look turned out. It's just like a teal, smoky, half cut glitter something. I actually love how the look turned out though. If you like to see a bunch of new products and just say get ready with me on this lazy Sunday with my pajamas still on, <laughs> then just please keep watching. So getting started with the base, I did pick up both of the Farsali Unicorn Essence and the Gold Elixir. So I've already seen people use the, what is this one, the Unicorn Essence on their face and then the Gold Elixir on their lips. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure you could use the Gold Elixir like all over your face too. But I have tried this out for the last two days and I have to say I love the smell and I love like, it makes your face so tacky. It is so pretty. Okay. And so I just drop it all along my face Ugh. and I swear it somehow stays cold so it feels so so good on your skin so I just like to work it in because when, the more you work it in the more it starts to feel like really tacky but not in a bad way <laughs> So I haven't tried the Goldie or the Rose Gold Elixir yet, so of course it's not open. I have to say, both of these, like the packaging, I just I love. I think they look so sleek and pretty, but they're cute at the same time. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that one I wouldn't use on my face. I think that's why it's supposed to be used on your lips, maybe. Oh, it says apply to face and neck. <laughs> anyway, that does feel really, really nice on the lips, though. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on those. Because, I, like I said, I haven't used them or the Gold Elixir one before. So, we shall see. So, for foundation, I'm going to try something a little bit new today. I'm going to try the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth and mix it with my Pro Matte. I know it's kind of, like, clashing a little bit. But I love the way this looked on my skin, but it, the color is a little weird. But I like the way that the Pro Matte kind of finishes, so I'm going to see if these two mix together pretty well. Of course, I'm going to use my little sponge. Then, of course, my Fair Beige for the Shape Tape Concealer. I just, I don't know, I have not found another concealer that beats this one. It is just insane and perfect. I'm also going to be trying out this studio makeup. We got this, I think, in BoxyCharm. And it is a HD powder. I am a little nervous, though, because a lot of HD powders kind of give you that funky, like, white cast look. So, so it says HD finishing powder. It's a silky setting powder with light shimmer to help blur the appearance of imperfections and pores. Interesting. Normally, that has the opposite effect for me. very light. I'm going to take a little bit more on my Tarte brush. Okay, so there's actually like not shimmer that you can see or anything, so that's good. I think it did like smooth out my skin quite a bit though. All right, so far we're having wins, so I hope it keeps going this way. I'm just going to contour using my Tarte Dazzle palette, of course. And then for bronzer, I'm just going to use the Benefit Hula and then my Morphe M527. And then for blush, I'm going to use Milani, Milani <laughs> Luminoso, and this is my Morphe E4. And then, of course, just a stipple brush. Really blend everything out. And I'll take a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I 
Do y'all get tired of seeing like the same routine every single time for me? <laughs> Let me know if I should just put in like eye looks and maybe skip the face. I don't know, I feel like I could do the same thing every time. So my base is almost finished. I'm really liking how my skin is looking today. It just looks really smooth and pretty, but it's not too matte or flat. You know what I mean? I feel like I found like a happy medium. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are finished and now it is on to the eyes. I am so excited. This is EBH Cosmetics Studio Pro Palette. How pretty is this palette? I don't know what I wanna do today, but I feel like I wanna use the Stila Diamond Dust because this is stunning. So I feel like I'm gonna do something a little bit more on the maybe cool side today. Are we being adventurous? I think so. <laughs> so to start off and make sure everything is set, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And now for my transition shade, I'm gonna go into this one right here. It reminds me of like a light peach smoothie from Makeup Geek, so I'm gonna trust it. <laughs> I'm gonna use my R40. I'm gonna go into this like deeper teal color right here. I'm actually using new brushes too. So this is a new rose quartz. No, it's not. The rose gold brush set from BH Cosmetics and it's number six. Ooh, okay. Wow, these are blending out so pretty. And they have so much color payoff. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm gonna keep the majority of the depth and the color out on the outer V because I wanna do, like I said, like the Stila glitter. I think we're gonna do like a half cut crease maybe. I'm gonna take another R40, no extra product or anything. I just wanna make sure I don't get this blue too high to where it looks a little messy. I'm gonna go back into that teal just a little bit, but I'm gonna go in with a flat little shader brush. So I really just wanna pack it on like the outer V or the outer corner. And then I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush. I'm going to take some of my loose powder and I'm just going to set it right underneath so we don't get too crazy. Now I'm going to go into the Stila glitter and this again is in diamond dust. I think I'm just going to carve out like a half little cut crease and kind of fade it into the deeper part. I'm actually going to take a little liner brush and I'm just going to kind of blend that into the shadow. Okay, I think this is probably my favorite Stila glitter ever. I think that is stunning. I hope the camera's going to pick up like all the reflect to it. Like it has like purple and blue and green. <gasps> oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, now what do I want to do for the lower lash line? Should I do blue or like a brown? Ooh, I think a dark brown will be really pretty. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into this warmer brown right here. I don't know if I like that contrast now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back into the teal shade. I'm just using a flat little angled brush. I'm just using a little Smith 230. To highlight, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's kind of like an iridescent pearly white. It's really pretty. And I'm just going to wipe away that extra powder. Okay, so eyeshadow when everything is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my falsies and I'll be right back. So eyes are finished. I have to say the Stila Diamond Dust is absolutely stunning. 
again, I hope the camera is going to pick up exactly how just like reflective and like all the different colors in it, like the purple, the pink, the blue. It's just stunning. So eyes are finished. I love how they turned out. I love that Stila glitter. I think it's so pretty. But now we're going on to highlighting and this is the Tarte Holiday Collection and this is the Goddess Glow Highlighter. I love this packaging. It is so pretty. Like, look at that. This paint is as big as my full cheek. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay. My Morphe M501 as always. Ooh. That picks up a lot of product. So that highlight is gorgeous. It doesn't emphasize any pores or texture or anything too crazy, but it is a little bit warm for me right, right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13 because this just never lets me down. Look at that. I'm also going to put just a little bit of the Starlet Powder on my inner corner. So now on to lips. I'm going to use the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner in Forever Bare. I'm going to do a tiny bit more of the Gold Elixir real quick. Just a tiny bit. And of course, one last thing is the Tarte Lip Bling Top Coat. And this is in tinsel. This looks so cute. I love this packaging. Like, look at that. It's so freaking cute. I'm going to go with a tiny bit of my Milani lip liner. Okay, that top coat is so Ready. And of course, to finish the face, I'm going to set it with the Urban Decay <laughs> All Nighter. Mm. Alright guys, and this is the completed look. I really hope you did enjoy this tutorial and just playing with new products with me. I love playing with new things, especially the quality collections that are just like to die for and that you can't not pick up. I will say this is a lot thicker than I was thinking, but it doesn't feel that way on the lips. Like it doesn't feel heavy or thick. It just, it's so pretty. And I hope the camera, like I said, is going to pick up this glitter as well because this Stila one, ooh, let me show you. Okay. This one is a little bit more sheer than the other ones, but it has so many different colors in the reflect. Like there's purple, like you see purple, green, gold, like do you see that? This is one of my favorite, favorite ones that I have. And I have, I think, four or five now. But oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I have to say, I was super impressed with this BH Cosmetics palette. You get 42 shades in here. I mean, holy moly. I did try out this black to kind of coat my lashes because they had some red on there from the Cat's Pajamas tutorial. So this black is really, really pigmented. I cannot wait to try a smoky eye out with that. Look at that. That is insane. Like I said, I know I didn't use too many of these shades today. I really just wanted to play with that teal color because it was calling my name. And I really wanted to bring out that blue from this glitter, like make that pop. So I love how the eye look turned out. But let me know down below if you want to see a tutorial with like the pinks, maybe the purple, maybe this green. Just let me know what you like to see from this palette and I will definitely do that for you guys. But this I'm really impressed with. And I want to say it was like $16 or something crazy. What else did we try out? This, if you have not tried the Unicorn Essence, I know this is blown up on Instagram. I know everyone raves about it, but it's for a good reason. Like this as a primer is just absolutely amazing. I love what it does to my skin. It makes your foundation just stick to it because it just feels so tacky, but it's also really hydrating. It feels so, so good on the skin. It is so, so amazing. And this gloss is just gorgeous. I love 
like the gold like warmth that it gives. I love the contrast to the eye, but I just think it's so pretty. So this highlight is absolutely gorgeous. It is just a little too warm for me right now. If I had my fake tan on, I feel like this would be absolutely stunning. But on my skin tone, I feel like I need something a little bit lighter. And this is just beautiful though. And I can't get over this packaging. Like the holiday packaging, Tarte always kills it. Everything is just always so pretty and sleek. And I just, I love this. All right, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. It has been an hour and 33 minutes, so I am done here. <laughs> Again, I really hope you did enjoy just sitting down, getting ready with me, and trying new products. That's always just so much fun, especially a lazy Sunday. I still have my, my pajama shirt on, so I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Again, leave me a comment down below letting me know what else you'd like to see from the BH Cosmetics palette because I will be filming another one or two tutorials tomorrow morning. So... Other than that, make sure you just subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too, just so you always know their uploads from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!